Most mountain bike clothing is good for exactly one thing, mountain biking. Club Ride Apparel is another story. Their clothing is just as at home on a pedal-powered pub crawl, commuting around town, or waiting in the school pickup line as it is out on the trail. In this video, I share some of the Club Ride pieces I've been wearing recently, what I like, what I don't, and things you should know before buying. My favorite pair of Club Ride mountain bike shorts is the Club Ride Eden. In fact, this short makes it on my list of the best women's mountain bike shorts. Every time a woman asks me for a short, short recommendation, I steer her towards the Club Ride Eden. With a seven inch inseam, these little shorties are perfect for ladies who don't want to wreck their summer tan lines or women who simply prefer a shorter cut. There aren't many short mountain bike shorts out there, so this is one of your only options. Fortunately, it's a good one. The waist has a Velcro adjustment, as well as a zipper and single snap. The waistband in the back is cut a little higher, so you don't need to worry about plumber's crack. It comes with the Club Ride 2-hour chamois liner, which I'll review in another video, and it snaps in or out. Without the chamois, the shorts are flattering enough to wear as a regular pair of shorts around town. The only thing to take into consideration is that the cut is too short for these to work with knee pads. If you want more protection or are planning to head to the bike park, choose a longer short. But if you're specifically looking for shorties, you'll love the Club Ride Eden. The Club Ride Savvy short might just be the most comfortable mountain bike short I've ever tried on. The fabric is lightweight and the cut is loose. On the trail, I almost forgot I was wearing shorts. That said, there were a few drawbacks. The drawstring waistband was difficult to adjust and the cut wasn't as flattering as my favorite mountain bike shorts. The sizing was also larger than other club ride shorts, so you might want to order a size smaller than usual. That said, I did appreciate the adorable print, zipper-free closure, and spacious pocket space. The cut is also long and loose enough to wear with knee pads. And of course, you can't overestimate comfort. Did I mention these are the most comfortable mountain bike shorts I've ever tried on? There aren't many mountain bike bottoms that I'd happily wear out in public, but the Club Ride Joni Capri is one of them. They don't scream mountain bike shorts, so nobody will notice if you slip these on for a run to the grocery store. Although the Although they're labeled as a capri, I'd say the cut is a bit shorter and looser than a normal capri. They're more like a really long short. They are stretchy and comfortable and didn't restrict my movement on the bike at all. The waist is Velcro adjustable and closes via snaps and zipper. The only negative I could find about the Joni Capri is that the fabric showed dust really easily. That said, dirt also brushed off easily, so it wasn't a big deal. There are very, very few women's mountain bike pants on the market, which made me really excited to try out the Club Ride Overland pant. On first glance, I thought the cut may be too loose, causing my pant leg to interfere with my drivetrain, but I found this wasn't the case. The cut is loose enough, however, that I was able to put a pair of fleece-lined leggings underneath, which I think is how I'll wear them for fat biking this winter. The fabric is technical and is finished to help protect against both wind and water. That means they probably aren't the pants I'd wear around town, but they are great for cold weather trail riding as well as commuting. Unlike other club ride bottoms, the pants don't have an adjustable waist, which is the only thing I would have changed. There are belt loops, however, if you choose to wear a belt. Giddy up, cowgirl! The Club Ride Bandera top looks a lot like the popular men's Club Ride Western shirts, but comes in more feminine colors and cut. The fabric is slightly stretchy, which provides a flattering cut, and the shirt snaps closed. We heard from several women in our community with broader shoulders and larger busts that found the Bandera fit them well. Personally, I have a smaller profile, but found that the Bandera was flattering on me as well. While I appreciated the breathable mesh side panels, I did find that I found the shoulder and upper back area got hot and sweaty. It would have been nice to have had a breathable panel in that area as well. 
Like many of the other club ride tops, the Bandera has UPF fabric for sun protection and reflective accents. The club ride camis shirt might be the most breathable jersey I've ever worn and will be my number one pick for hot days going forward. The fabric has hundreds of tiny holes and the fit is loose enough that I felt air flowing over my skin at all times. Because the fabric is so lightweight and airy, it's also fast drying. This would be a top pick for travel or any time you want to wash and dry a top quickly. The Club Ride Gracie is a summer weight long sleeve jersey and thanks to its UPF fabric, it's a great pick for ladies who want a little extra protection from the sun. The top buttons up as do the sleeves. The sleeves also have reflective accents which make it ideal for riding in lower weather or in lower light conditions. The shoulders and chest are cut wide, so will work well for women who need a more generous cut. As a more petite woman, I felt that the cut was a little too wide for me. Also worth mentioning, there aren't any pockets, so plan to ride with some sort of pack or shorts with plenty of pocket space. When the weather turns chillier, grab the Club Ride Sevy hoodie. It's warm and cozy thanks to the fleecy fabric on the inside. The sweatshirt-like top is really cute and I've found that I like wearing it off the bike as much as I like wearing it on the bike. The neck has an asymmetrical zipper that allowed me to take it on and off without even removing my helmet. The only issue I ran into when using it as a layer on the bike is that it's bulky and wasn't that easy to stash when I took it off. If you want more in-depth information on any of these pieces, go check out my written review at femcyclist.com. The link is in the video description. You'll also find a running list there of other Club Ride Apparel pieces as we review them. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit like and subscribe.